Alice Roosevelt. Alice Roosevelt took the nation by storm when she moved into the White House with her father, Theodore, and stepmother, Edith, in 1901. Her father once told a friend, I can either run the country or I can attend to Alice, but I cannot possibly do both. Alice was born on February 12, 1884, to Theodore and Alice Roosevelt. The excitement of her birth was quickly overshadowed by two tragedies. On February 14, Alice's grandmother died of typhoid fever. Later that same day, Alice's mother died of kidney failure. It was just too much for Theodore, who left Alice with her aunt Anna and moved to North Dakota. He returned for her after two years, but her aunt remained a significant influence in her life. During Alice's time in the White House, women dressed like her and men were appalled by her unladylike behavior. Behaviors like smoking, partying, chewing gum, and wearing pants earned her a spot on the front page of national newspapers. On January 3, 1902, her debutante ball was held at the White House. Just a few years later, Alice began a relationship with Congressman Nicholas Longworth. The couple was married at the White House on February 17, 1906. Alice used the sword of a military aide in attendance to cut her cake. When her father's presidency was over, Alice buried a voodoo doll of Nellie Taft, the wife of the incoming president, in the front yard of the White House. William Taft banned Alice from the White House grounds. In 1916, she was banned from the White House again by Woodrow Wilson after making a joke about him that he deemed inappropriate. Alice continued to socialize and make waves in Washington, D.C. until her death in 1980. One quote often attributed to Alice was, If you can't say something good about someone, sit right here by me. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.